81 years ago today, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor. In this morning's Zavali Zone, Jeff is in Oceanside, where a woman who witnessed that attack is sharing a letter her mother wrote about the terrible day for the very first time here. Buried in a box, in a closet for decades, Barbara Brown says it's time to share these words with the world. That's my mom and dad. In California in 1940, Barbara Brown's parents announced their family would be taking a voyage. It's our boat ticket to Hawaii for the family. This is when we first got to Hawaii. A year later, on December 7th, 1941, Barbara's life changed forever. We had no idea at all. It was on a Sunday morning when Barbara looked up into the Honolulu sky and could only see enemy planes. I was five years old. Barbara's mother, Esther, wrote a letter following the attack that she never mailed. As I stood there watching the firing of the ships as the planes went over, something told me it was not a usual practice. Barbara's father, George, a civilian Navy contractor, survived the surprise attack, along with her good friend, Russ. Russ had just left the car and immediately hit the dirt under a truck just inside the base in order to avoid being strafed by a plane. Russ also survived, but 2,403 Americans died. Actual official word of the attack did not reach us until 12 noon when the president announced that we were under attack by the Japanese. The letter indicates days of chaos followed. It didn't affect me as much. The only thing that bothered me was wearing the damn mask. This is a picture of Barbara and her siblings wearing gas masks. That's me, that's my older sister, that's my youngest brother, and that's my older brother. We had to wear them every day from the bombing on. The U.S. government evacuated Barbara's family back to San Francisco. You couldn't even tell your next door neighbor you were leaving. Barbara never knew how stressed her mother was until reading this. I don't believe it was until then that I began to feel the tension I had been under for the last few months. At age 86, Barbara is fighting her own battle with lung cancer. I want to pass it on share it with people. And wants to make sure this letter is never forgotten. It feels good knowing that my mother wrote something that profound. In the Zevely Zone. Best wishes to all, Esther Hill. Jeff Zevely, CBS 8.